amaze myself sometimes. And hold that finish. Hold your posture and your finish and absorb the feeling. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna videotape those four clusters. That's what, those are pretty good, guys. So even though they're different distances, y'all are duplicating the first ball pretty well, pretty well. And if you can master that and really get good at that, that's gonna serve you well as you continue to, to practice. Now here's how you, you use that on the course. Go ahead and get your balls again. Okay, hey Bob, I'm uh, going to compare your putting stroke to Tiger. First of all, let me say you have a really good putting stroke. There's only one small little addition I would like you to work on. Your setup uh, is very solid, uh, good width of stance, good tilt in your spine, elbows tucked in. I really like everything about your setup. I want you to watch uh, Tiger first. And uh, we worked on this, this putt, hold, look. And uh, as you come, as Tiger goes back, as he strikes the ball, his eyes are down at the moment of impact. They're still down, they're still down, they're still down. He doesn't start lifting his, turning his head. Ball has left the camera screen. Tiger's eyes are still down. His putters come to a complete stop and he holds that finish. And then he'll start to turn after he's held for a moment or two. Tiger's now turning to look at the result, but while he's turning and looking, he's holding his posture and his putter head finish. Or he's not recoiling the club back. And that's a, uh, a standard high level uh, putting stroke fundamental that that I wanted you to have as well. So let's uh, look at this. Now let's take a look at your putting stroke. This was before we made any adjustments. And uh, you did you do a lot of the good things that Tiger is doing. As you hit the ball, at that moment your eyes are down. But you can see how you do turn your head immediately to follow the ball with your eyes. Now one of the things that you do really well is you hold your posture and your finish. Even though you've turned your head early, you really watch and, and that ball while you're holding that putter there. So you already have a good solid foundation of the fundamentals I want you to have. And what I wanted you, us to work on. Uh, was the not turning so early. Now here you are um, with your putting stroke after we worked on this fundamental and you did an excellent job. As you take the cub back, good posture, as you strike the ball, your eyes are down. You're, you're keeping your eyes down and you're not turning. You've come to a, a, a stop And you're holding your finish, you're putted, you're now holding. And then after the hold, you take a look and, and you just turn your head. You didn't lift, you didn't recoil your putter. You went through that just like Tiger did. So continue to work on that fundamental where it's putt, hold, look. And that will give you um, a much better, more solid stroke. And you'll also uh, start making better uh, decisions about how hard to hit a putt because your memory of what you've experienced will be stronger because of that of how you absorb the feet, the memory of force during the uh, during the impact pos uh, position so that's very good. of feet close together, hands forward, and stay on your left side so that your your helps you hit down into the golf ball.
the old leading edge. But now if you, if you move the ball, if, you're, if you look, let your eyes gaze more left now and try to slide the bounce through the grass. Comparing your chipping technique, on the right was the technique that you arrived at the session with, and uh, on the left was after I made some adjustments to it. The standard fundamentals for these shots are feet close together, choke down a little bit, weight forward, hand slightly forward. And uh, if we look at your your stance on the left, is certainly more narrow. And um, the other thing I like about what you have. Uh, in your new setup is you can see how on your original setup there's a little bit of an of an angle there and you're you have a much more connected uh, radius of your golf circle the left arm and the shaft kind of become a constant radius for the circle so that you have consistency in the depth of the arc as it goes through the ball and that's an important uh, part of uh, consistent chipping Now, you already had a pretty good action uh, with your hands and arms. Uh, you weren't uh, too wristy. This is your uh, original fundamentals technique. You come through, you, you, you do let both hands swing through. You're not overly cupping the back of the left wrist. Um, and uh, there's a little more, just a little bit more break on the end. Um, and a lot of that's because of your setup in that when your feet are this wide that's going to put more weight on your back foot than the front foot and that forces uh, the left wrist to start breaking down earlier during the follow through. Uh, when your feet are closer together it's easier for you to have your weight on the uh, keep your weight on that left side. Very good position there. When your left hand just swings a little higher, you can kind of see how this right hip and knee move forward a little bit more. Uh, you can see how the space between your knees on the right um, is bigger, and therefore it's an indication that you're not uh, shifting or staying on the left side. But you did, you executed that very, very well. This here is when we're working on using our bounce. Again, you've got a really good setup. Your feet are close together, choking down, weight forward, left forward, uh, hands forward. You're, you're still strongly on that left side. You're not rocking to the back foot. That looks really good. You're sliding right under the golf ball. That ball takes off. It's not, it gets up quite a bit. Very nice. Very good technique. Just keep working with that until it becomes more and more comfortable. The, the main thing that to focus on is that setup. Just by getting your feet closer together, it makes the, uh, the fundamental t technique uh, much easier to, to work with. When your feet get too far apart, uh, it's impossible to maintain the proper uh, control of your weight position and the location of the low point of your golf swing. So by having your weight on your left side allows the low point of your arc to be in front of the ball which is going to increase your consistency of hitting the ball clean and crisp. 